everyone, let's talk about hair care today. So hair care is a subject that's actually near and dear to my heart because look at this. I do not have the issue many of you have with thinning hair. Um, I have an issue of I have crazy curly hair and trying to manage it is very difficult. So I'm going to talk to you about our hair care products today because most people don't even know we have hair care. So you can see my nearly gone bottle of shampoo and conditioner. That's where it all starts. So shampoo and conditioner, really, you know I'm into reducing toxic load. So for me, we don't use any chemicals in our house. So we don't use chemical cleansers and try not to put chemicals in or on our body. And that includes shampoo and conditioner. So the shampoo smells lovely, guys, and it is really cleansing. It doesn't foam up a ton. So um, just be prepared for that because a lot of what makes shampoo foam is chemical based. So don't be surprised. It doesn't mean your hair's not getting clean. It just isn't, you know, super foamy. Um, and it has wild orange and lime in it. And it's just really lovely cleanser. The conditioner is where um, I get a bit passionate because frankly, I'm not picky about my shampoo um, other than not having chemicals in it. But conditioner, when you have thick hair like this, which you guys is super, super curly, you just can't see it right now, um, conditioner really matters. You can ask Laura about that because of the tangles. I mean, it's unreal. So um, love the conditioner and it has loads of oils in it. So I'm gonna read through what they are. So it's got lavender, peppermint, Atlantic cedarwood, marjoram, neoli, rosemary, lavender, eucalyptus, ylang ylang, lime, lemon, colt's foot, barley, sandalwood, avocado, um, I think that's it. So loads of oils in there. And it really just, just makes it easy to brush out afterwards. It's awesome. I've been using those for quite some time, um, but new to my whole doTERRA world is the root to tip serum. So some of you may have watched this, so sorry my bottle's broken. But anyway, so may have, may have watched me talk about this because it was one that took me by surprise. Because I'll be honest, I was like, hmm, root to tip serum, who needs it? But it's awesome. So you just squeeze it like this. I'm not gonna do it now because you do it in wet hair. Um, squeeze a couple drops on your root, a couple drops on your hand, and then rub it through and massage your scalp. First of all, it feels amazing. It like creates this nice cooling feeling on your scalp. But I've actually found it really has um, also helped with flakiness, which has been really nice. And that's why I love it. And it's added some shine to my hair, which I didn't know it was even meant to do, but, um, but it, that's been really nice. So I don't have the ingredients for you because they're on the box and I've thrown the box out. So I'm sorry I wasn't prepared in that regard for this video, but, um, but it is really, really nice. So if you do have thinning hair, which as I said, not my problem. You can have probably what's in my brush will be more than you have. But anyway, um, add a little bit of rosemary to the serum. So the serum already has rosemary in it, but when you put that couple drops on your palm to add, um, just add a drop of rosemary too, and it, you'll just get double the effect. It's really good for hair health and thickening your hair. So also in the kit, and I really debated whether to talk about it because as I said, like you get honesty from me, is the Healthy Hold Glaze. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this does not work on my curls. My hair is so curly and frizzy, and this doesn't hold the curl. But I have read really good reviews about it for people that have just slightly wavy hair um, that don't have my level of crazy curls. So something to consider, because it is non-toxic and it's not expensive, so it's worth a try. Um, but yeah, unfortunately for my crazy curls, it wasn't quite enough. Um, if I do wear my hair curly, I've got to have strong product in there, which is a big reason I don't wear it curly because I don't like to put that, that level of product in my hair. But um, it is something to consider though because like I said, I actually have heard really good reviews from people I know personally about it. Um, it just didn't work for me. Um, Ian used it in his hair. I will say he, he was fine with it. So he likes to just put a little bit of product in his hair to make it like a little more texturized. Um, and it did hold his hair. So I guess, you know, we do have some positive personal review of it. But if you've got like kinky curly hair, um, I wouldn't recommend it. So anyway, that is the hair kit collection. It doesn't, I don't, I mean, you can actually buy it all as a kit. I didn't. I buy the shampoo and conditioner, but you can buy it as a kit too. Um, and it's just really nice, guys. You walk out and you're like, I actually get people that are like, 
you smell good and it's just my hair. All right, see ya.